Hey, it's Mike Pratt Family Homestead. Today we're going to be canning apples in a uh, in a syrup that contains red hot uh, cinnamon candies. I grew up loving these things. I don't eat much candy anymore. In fact, I rarely eat candy. But if these are in the house, ooh, I will kill these real fast. So, anyways, uh, it's apple wedges uh, in a syrup with uh, with these candies. Um, we're not really doing wedges, as you see later. Uh, I'm. We're using an apple peeler that also has a slicer, so that's what we're going to be using. So my guess would be is, while this recipe I think makes six quarts of apples, since we're doing slices, and our slices are gonna be smaller than the wedges, I'm kind of anticipating we'll come out with um, less than six pints. Did I say quarts? I meant pints. Uh, so everything's already done. We've already washed the apples. You don't have to watch us do that. Uh, we've already um, sliced and peeled the apples, or peeled and peeled and sliced the apples. I had some help from uh, Andrew and Grace. So let's look at the ingredients and then uh, we'll get into getting the apples into the syrup. Hi Grace. Grace is gonna help show us what the ingredients for today's project is. All right, so first Grace, we have uh, one and a half cups of sugar. Right here. Oh, awesome. Half a cup of cinnamon red hot candies. Oh, we like those, don't we? Ooh. Two cinnamon sticks. And also in here is two whole cloves and one teaspoon of ginger. Then we have two cups of water, one and a half cups of vinegar, 5% acidity, a two thirds cup light corn syrup, and a optional, we're not going to use any, but optional, you could have two tablespoons of red food coloring. That's our ingredients for today. Bye. Also, I'm going to sit here forever and see if Grace can keep this bag of apples up. <laughs> That's a 10, ba 10 pound bag of apples that we're going to be using. Uh, and they are, I believe, Macintosh apples is what it says. Yes, it does. Macintosh. That's what we're going to use for today's project. We're also going to be using fruit fresh today. The ball's fruit fresh. Two quarts of water to three. It says well rounded tablespoons. One. Two. Oh, three. And then uh, <clears throat> I actually know I'm going to have to get two of these uh, bowls set up, but I'm just going to do one right now. Uh, and then we're going to whisk that together and then the fruit will go in there and it won't brown. I actually used this for the first time yesterday, I think, and it worked out great. This is the uh, the peeler that we'll be using today. We have been super happy with this. Um, I don't have a good lip on my counter, so I need to put a wedge in there or something. But I usually just hold the base of it with my other hand as I crank. It works out really good. But... Um, I'll leave a link below. Uh, oh, did I open this upside down? Uh, I'll leave a link below. There we go. Uh, where you guys can get one on Amazon if you'd like. We're really happy about this with this. We have posted this on Instagram as well. And uh, overwhelmingly people say that they have the same model and they like it. So uh, go check it out. It also comes with a suction base as well. Or, well... You can either have the clamp base or the suction base. All right, so let's get all these ingredients put into a big sauce pot, sauce pan, pot, pot. It's a pot, a pot. Um, and here we go. Uh, Grace, sorry, I told you everything that we had, so we're gonna go get it dumped in. Oh, and before I forget to mention it, we already have the jars boiling in water, uh, getting sterilized and everything before we add all this into it. So that's already going. We're just gonna get. Um, we're going to put everything, all the ingredients into this pot except for the apples. We're going to bring this up to a boil. Then we're going to drain the apples, dump the apples in, and bring it all up to temperature for... I'd have to reread uh, the instructions, but uh, I'll let you know in just a minute. Water, vinegar, sugar, red hots. Cinnamon, ginger, and cloves, and the syrup. 
All right, we'll bring all that up to a boil. This is a pretty thin pot, so I'm starting the temperature off really low. I'm gonna let it come up, and then um, I'll gradually increase the temperature. We've had a lot of stuff stick in this pot before. It kind of drives me a little crazy. But uh, once it starts warming up and boiling, then we'll get the, uh, the apples put in. And that fruit fresh is doing its job great. Um, I keep kind of dunking them and stuff, but these apples have been out for uh, quite a while, are not browning. I guess these were sitting on top and they did brown somewhat. Um, but you can also use lemon juice, um, but I've been pretty happy with that fruit fresh and I know we've got a couple different containers of it. Um, 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 um. I can tell you right now, I screwed up by slicing the apples. I can tell they're breaking apart way too easy in there. We're not having these wedges like we're supposed to have. Um, so I'm still going to roll with it. Um, this will still make a great topping on many things, including our oatmeal bars. Um, I really wanted to try this out on our oatmeal bars. So even, even if these break apart a lot and they're not as chunky as I want them to be, which they won't be. Uh, it'll be fine because we're still going to use them on other stuff. I'll, I am going to do this recipe again though, and I am going to use wedges for sure. All right. That's been cooking good. Don't these look fantastic? Uh, it might be hard to tell, but they're nice and red. So I'm going to actually use a slotted spoon to start this. Uh, I'm going to let a lot of that syrup drip off. I'm just going to get see how much apples I can get into jars. And then I'm um, I'm not going to pack them in there super tight. But then, but then I'm going to fill it with the syrup. And again, I can tell where maybe... <laughs> uh, we are going for a half inch head space as well. And when I say I'm not going to pack them in, I am going to a little bit. Um, I don't want a big gap there either. So, just do that. And so I'm going to continue doing this with all the jars. And uh, then we'll top it on, top what I have off with syrup. And so I'm going to finish getting these filled up for you guys. And then uh, we'll get them in the water bath canner. Uh, half inch headspace is usually to the bottom of uh, uh, this thing for us, this funnel. So oh, yeah, pretty good. Um, and then, just so you can see, we're gonna go through and we're gonna get air bubbles out. Oh, I don't know if you can see those air bubbles coming out. Uh, we're gonna work on getting air bubbles out and then double checking our headspace. So I'm gonna do this to all the jars. I did get all those out of there. So I'm missing a clove. So one of these has a clove in it, but that's perfectly fine. I'm not worried about it. I'm just using hot water right now. Uh, most of the time, I would say most of the time we, we use vinegar, but I'm just using hot water right now. And I like to use a paper towel because it's nice and thin and I can feel the ridge on here real well. All right, I'm gonna finish getting these cleaned up. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so we have all of our sterilized lids on, um, all brand new lids. I did end up wiping the outside of the jars off. They are all super sticky. And now we're just going to put these bands on. Uh, what do they say? Finger tight, whatever that means. My tight is not the same as Jenny's tight. Uh, you find your own deal. Um, but the point is, is you don't want to, um, you don't want to uh, crank down on them. So we'll get these on and get them loaded in the canner. 
and Jenny is getting ready to make dinner. So I will go put these on the garage stove. Uh, and this one um, is the extra one. I'm not going to put it in the canner. Beautiful. So I'm amazed that um, the recipe called for six. I thought we would come out at a lot less than six pints, um, but we ended up with eight in here. So really cool. And we have leftover syrup and stuff, and there's even some more leftover syrup still in the pot. You want the water to cover the jars uh, by one inch. Okay, so I got the canner out here in the garage. Once this comes to a boil, we're supposed to process this batch for 15 minutes. So that's what we'll do. I predict that there's a boil. Look at that, we got a good boil going. We're gonna start that timer, 15 minutes. All right, so this is fresh out of the canner. Well, not real fresh, it's been sitting here for a couple hours. And as you know, I'm not supposed to be handling this jar yet, but I wanted to show it to you guys. Uh, looking, I'm kind of curious what it's going to look like when I edit the video. Uh, but looking at it here, it looks has a lot more uh, pink tint to it than what I see in my phone right now. But that is that. This is probably the end of the video, so thanks for hanging out, guys. One of our first videos within a couple months here. And... Um, uh, I might show a little clip of me putting it up on the shelves, uh, but thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.